Hi everyone, I'm Alessandro and welcome to Mr. Weasel Art. And today we are talking about a quite simple subject, but actually really important. If you are a beginner or if you never stop to think about this, uh, this video might be really helpful. And what we are talking about today is basically how our eyes uh, see things. Uh, what are the visual cues that we need to have in our paintings and drawings so that we can differentiate uh, forms and geometries, uh, different objects in general, and that kind of stuff. So, uh, let's jump to an example so that we can begin. Let's go! So here on the screen I drew two, two objects and one of them is a square, as you can see, and the other one right in front of the square is a circle, which you cannot see, and basically that happens for quite an obvious reason. Uh, both objects, they have the exact same hue, saturation and value, so it means that they have the exact same colors. So the only way that you can see these objects is if I put one of them aside, like this. Now you can clearly see that I have a square and a circle. So what it means is actually that for our vision to identify something, as different from another thing, we need to have a separation of some sort. We need to have a variation in color. Here we have a white background, and the white background it actually goes between the, the circle and the square. So that's why we can differentiate the two objects. So now if I take the circle like this and put it right in front of the square, I'm not able to access to actually say if the circle is in front of the square, if the circle is behind it. So I cannot, uh, I don't know what is actually happening because the colors are the same and they are mixing each other. I, I might even say that this is not a square and not a circle, it's another object that has a shape which goes something like this actually. Basically, in drawings and paintings and whatever, we f if we do not have a certain contrast, a uh, variation in color and that kind of stuff, our eyes are not able to differentiate objects and also to identify uh, 3D forms in space. So now let's jump to another example. So I'll, I'll draw a cube in perspective, something like this. This is only the outline. I'll do something like this, here, here. Even if I tell you uh, that this shape represents a cube in perspective, you might see this as something different. For example, a shield, for example, from a character, something like this, that goes like this, here. And we have, a, I don't know, a creature in the middle, like a lion or something like that. So you might say, okay, this is the, the outline of a shield, or a cube in perspective, like this. So the only way to identify uh, things is if you have enough visual cues to differentiate them. If light is coming from above, uh, for example, like uh, from this direction, something like this, coming from here, like this. This is an arrow to show the direction of the light. It's coming like this on the cube. So we would have this left side in a shadow, maybe in complete shadow, if there's no reflected light around. Uh, the upper side, uh, the upper plane of the cube would be uh, the, the lighter one, something like, I don't know, like this. And the side plane, the right side plane, would be, would still have uh, direct light, but uh, a fewer uh, quantity of uh, ray lights, for example. So it, it would be a little bit darker than the upper plane. So we would have something like this. And maybe then a, a cast shadow that goes behind like this. And so 
what we are doing here, we are controlling basically the the uh, amount of uh, the amount of color that I'm putting in the in the drawing, the painting, so that I can give enough information for your eyes to identify what I'm trying to express here. So whenever you want to show the viewer something, you actually just need to give him enough information so uh, in in a sense of uh, giving enough contrast in your drawings or in your painting or uh, changing the color so that he can identify the different things that are actually happening so for example here the square is behind the circle but i cannot see that yet so i'll change the color i'll i'll, I'll I'll put a lighter color like this. And now we are able to see that, okay, the square is behind uh, the circle. Now I have uh, the minimum amount of information that I need to show what I want. And that's also why the reason why uh, black and white drawings can be so cool and so well done, so realistic, because you actually don't need to change your color, you can change only the values, that means you you balance the grayscale uh, throughout your whole drawing, so things make sense to the eye. So, uh, basically speaking, the thing that you I think you should always do when drawing painting is uh, ask yourself did I give enough information to show uh, what I wanted to show so the viewer can understand it if if you didn't it would be wise to give a step back and, and redo the parts that you that you need actually and that's it for this video so if you like the, the explanation, uh, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, you can comment uh, down below. I'll, I'll, I'll try to answer them uh, the best way that I can. And that's it. See you soon. Bye.